Hello, I am Fagan Mikengi, a data scientist at Syndro, and today we are going to be uh, talking about the text in view tool in Alteryx. All right, so uh, the text in view tool basically is just like your Excel uh, worksheets, and um, it is used to actually uh, manually enter data into Alteryx. And um, it's it's actually very useful. It's, it comes in handy when you want to uh, do a short test and probably some uh, data sets. Probably you have uh, some data sets in Excel and you want to probably do a short test or you want to manually uh, impute values and uh, do a short test. All right, so one of the major advantage of the uh, text in Vito is that um, you can actually save it in your uh, workflow and probably uh, export it to uh, your colleague, friends, or uh, even the um, outreach community. And then anybody will be able to see the data you uh, use. Unlike uh, you using the um, input data tool whereby you have to you know, zip your file before people can have access to your uh, data, all right? So let's go straight away to Outrix and see uh, how to use this tool. Okay, so we're here in Outrix, and then um, the text input tool is under the input and output tool palette. And just in case you can't find it here, you have to go to this um, icon, which says hide or remove tools. Then when you click on this, So when you click on this, you see uh, the two palettes we have in um, Alteryx. You can see all the two palettes I have in here. And uh, probably you, you can see this, right? This are the recent uh, things that were added in Alteryx. So in case uh, you don't find that in your own uh, Alteryx, you can just um, update your Alteryx version, right? So this is the input and output tool. If you click on it, you see the tools uh, in the input and output uh, tool palette, and here you have the browse tool, the data tool, directory tool, and the likes. All right. So today we're interested in the text input tool. Just be sure you have these two checked, because if you do not have these two checked, you are not going to say here. Okay. So for example, if I uncheck this and I click on OK, all right. If I go back to the input tool, you can see the text input tool is not yet. Just in case, I use it like that. You just have to come back here, and then go to your Input and output tool palettes, and then check this, and then okay, all right. So that's about the input and output uh, tool uh, palette. So uh, Outrix is a drag and drop uh, software, and then um, you can drag this software um, to your canvas. All right. So if you drag uh, this tool to your canvas, okay. So if you drag this here, now for um, each and every tool in Outrix, you have. Um, different configuration uh, that you can always, uh, you know, uh, play with and then, uh, you know, uh, have this tool configured in the way you want it. But for the uh, text input, like I said the other time, it's just like an Excel uh, sheet, worksheet, okay? Now, so imagine I just want to have two rows and maybe three columns, right? So here, this is, this first place is where you type in your feed name. You can see here. And then, so if I see, maybe I want to see the name, name, then click on this. Probably I want to see the age. And then I want to see uh, the car being used by that person. So let's see, I want to say, um, I want to type in here and say, uh, let's see, John. Okay, and see this is changing. And let's see, um, I want to say Fred. Okay, so let's see, John is what 45 years old, and let's see, Fred is what 30 years old. And then this user bands, and then this um, use a four. Okay, now this is the simple data I have in here. All right, I can just add the browse tool. Um, later on, I'm going to be talking extensively about the usage of the browse tool. And then if I run this, so basically the helps you to 
uh, view your results and then gives you uh, some uh, graphical representation of uh, each of these uh, fields so you can see. So I'm going to be making uh, another video talking extensively about the browse tool. All right, so this is our results as you can see from the uh, text input tool. So you can see we can just easily create uh, some uh, data, you know, just probably like a test data in um, Alteryx, right? So, and uh, you, you're going to see some of uh, these things in here. So let's drag another text input tool uh, to look at this. So for example, uh, let me talk about the uh, copy. So you can actually copy, right? So you can actually, you know, let's say, want to have something like this, okay? So let's say we have something like this. Okay, so just click on this and then I will say copy. So let's try and paste that in our Excel workbook. So I'm just gonna come here and then right click and then paste, okay? So you can see what we have in here. So I just copied that um, data from uh, Alteryx text input to, and then I pasted it in here. All right, so you can see that that's actually pretty easy. So let's see if we can do uh, the reverse. Let's see if we can copy from Excel and then paste into the text input tool. So I'm just going to right click and copy this, okay? And uh, for this new tool, so I'm going to, I have to click on a cell to copy, uh, to paste, okay? So if I click on this cell, I want to explain something here. If I click on this cell, and this is the paste um, button, if I click on this. So you see right now that my headers in Excel, you can see my headers are uh, month, name, age, sex, and the likes. You can see um, they were overwritten here, right? So uh, if you do not want that, what you have to do is just, uh, let me delete this and then do this again. Okay, so if I do this. So this was where I clicked on when I pasted. So if I click on this place and then paste, so you can see we have the correct format, right? So this still retains our headers and then we can always drag the browse through here and then run. So you can see our values in here. All right, so that's about it for um, the configuration test tool, uh, the, the configuration of the text tool. All right, so you can actually delete uh, things here. Yeah? So if you click on this drop down, you can see you can delete all the records, you can delete uh, the headers, you can delete columns and you know rows. So let's see, if I delete the headers, you can see that the uh, next uh, data, Next record is now uh, used as my what my header. So let me try and do a control Z. Okay, so I'm just going to do a control Z. And uh, if you're on Mac, you're just going to do a command Z. Okay, so uh, look at this. So let's try and delete uh, rows. So you can see this first row. Let's delete it. Okay, so you can see. So let me do a command Z again. And uh, let's let's try and delete another row. So this can be this card. Let's see the row that's going to get deleted. So you can see the first row here, which I highlighted, was deleted. Okay. So let's do a control Z again to be sure of that. All right. So let's see. I have this row highlighted, and let's see if July Ulufunke is going to leave. You can see. July Lufunke has gone, right? So any role you or record you highlight um, and then you click the delete row, it's automatically going to take that away. All right, so let's try for the uh, delete columns. Okay, so delete columns. You can see the name column is gone. Okay, let's see if we can delete multiple columns. So what I just did here was click on a particular column and then I'm pressing uh, my control key. So let's see if the age and title column is going to leave, okay? You can see the age and title column is gone, right? So you can delete multiple column, uh, you can delete the headers, you can delete even multiple rows, right? So let's try for this and uh, this. 
So just using my control key, or if you're on Mac, you can use a command, um, a command uh, key. Okay, so if I delete rows, so let's see um, if these records will be off. You can see the record is gone. All right, so we can also insert, right? We can insert a new header, for example, can insert a new header, uh, a new column. So let's try to insert a new column. Okay, so okay, so I have to click on this and then insert colon. Okay, so you can see here. So let's say I want to name this uh, car. Okay, I can just impute values just like I did earlier. You can see this is Bentley. Okay, you can see this is Ford, right? So you can see if I run this, I'm going to add the browse to here. If I run this, see my new values, right? So um, one more thing uh, about this is uh, your annotation. So you can see if I uh, over on this tool, you can see text input four. If I want to probably customize that, uh, you come here to your annotation, and then you can see text input four. So I can see, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, so I can see data from Excel, right? And, you know, customize that. So if you run this, so you can see right over now, you can see data from Excel. So let's do some customization again. I can still add some um, annotation uh, explaining my data, right? So I can see uh, this is um, a sample, okay, of my employee table, all right? This is a sample of my variable. If I run this, you're going to see the annotation here. Okay. This is the sample of my employee table, right? And you can actually still place it on top if you want. If you don't like, if you do not like uh, the position of this annotation, so you can just click this um you can just check this box and then if you run this, let's see. Oh, oh, sorry, this was the wrong tool. So if you click here. This is annotation on top. So you can see this is working. So um, like I said, uh, we talked about the text input to used to uh, manually create data for inputs, and um, you can just use to probably do a small test. And one other thing I want to tell you is that you can actually just send this to somebody, right? Probably your colleague or um, on the community, and then it will still have this file embedded, all right? So you can just save it as, um, so if you do save as, all right, um, you can see it's, it's a YXMD file, okay? And that's um, Autrix workflow, all right? So if you save it as this file, right, it's going to automatically, when you send it to somebody, these files are still going to be embedded, all right? So. We talked about the text input to, uh, used to manually create data, and then uh, you can save it within your workflow, and then it still, uh, you know, have this data embedded uh, in it. All right. So that will be all for uh, today on um, Autrix tool. Um, thank you so much for listening. Um, see you next time.